Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, February 23rd, 2024 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is love is the power behind my revolution. And here we are, our first revolution evolution day of Sun in Pisces. And we have the day before the full moon. And we have Mercury shifting signs. So all of this together can be a little bit much, a little bit of a lot. Have to point out, I think it's really interesting that there were so many issues with cell phones today. We had Mercury at 29 degrees, preparing to shift to zero degrees. I swear if anything teaches you that astrology is like real, it should be the technology shenanigans that happen <laughs> when it comes to Mercury because... It is so on point. Um, and I'll say this because some people are like, well, solar flares. So an astrologer that I worked for used to say that uh, they believed that how we experience astrology is because the sun is feeling the effect of these planetary energies. And so solar flares, there you go. So that being said, let's dig into this astro. Mercury shifting into Pisces. Now, technically, this is happening at 11.29 p.m. Pacific time on Thursday. So for most of us, early Friday morning, we're going to wake up to a Mercury zero Pisces day. You may not feel like doing anything um, between that and this incoming full moon. Although the moon shifting into Virgo later may make you want to do everything um so but we are kind of we're in a void moon state mercury at zero pisces moon finishing up in leo definitely some lazy lion energy in this um you may have some challenge getting motivated that being said let's talk about mercury in pisces we'll have mercury in pisces for about two and a half weeks uh Mercury transits are very fast. It might even be closer to two weeks. Um, you see God in all. Or you don't see God at all. That's the song that's playing in my head right now. Mercury in Pisces can help us try to grapple with understanding God in all. Love in all. Energy. Um, my roomy card that I pulled is bonkers on point with this. So I can't wait to read that. But I'm going to try to give you some astro perspective before reading that. Um, Pisces wants union. And so you may find the mind over these next few weeks more willing to meld and fall into the heart. More willing to meld into the body, more willing to accept the divine, accept union, to accept God, to see God, to understand as much as possible, God, universe, source, energy. Um, our intuition will be heightened. We may find ourselves more mutable, more willing to go and glow with the flow. Um, we also may find ourselves wanting to escape more. You may have some deeper realizations of empathy, of compassion, of the pain and suffering in the world. And you may find yourself wanting to try to escape having to feel those energies. So watch for that. Watch for wanting to escape and see where you can deepen into your presence and deepen into the understanding of the presence of God in you, around you, through you, etc. in this energy. My friend Nikki says God is in the oxygen. And I think if there's a time when we can understand God is in the oxygen, it is with Mercury and Pisces. Um, lean into your intuition. Lean into not understanding the deeper understanding that's coming through these next few weeks. I wish it, I wish it was longer. I'm like this month. No, it's not a month. It's it's a short time. Um and this full moon energy incoming is just going to expand 
upon it. Now I'm going to show up. I'm going to show up and do a reading tomorrow for this full moon energy. So there will be a scope just for that. Um, but today is an interesting day. Like I said, because we have that mercurial shift, which hopefully can soften some of the edges of our first revolution, evolution day of sun in Pisces. Um, this can be very karmically triggering. Uh, the full moon may be bringing some stuff up as well. That's what full moons do. Full moons can bring harvest, but it's also harvesting on what you've been focusing on. And so you may have some deeper layers of that coming up for you today in and through, in and through these energies. But it's overall a kind of quiet astro day until the moon shifts into Virgo at 5.37 p.m., Pacific time and then we'll have the moon and mercury in their opposition right after that preparing us for the blending of the Virgo Pisces energies um, watch for where you want to go into hypercritical hyper noticing all the details and notice where you go into expansive mode and where you want to float and find your place in between because both have their place and that will help you move through whatever's coming up with this moon. Um, besides the Rumi card, I have beautiful cards. I have the existence and the silence. Beautiful future as you are creating it. The existence card, that's my abracadabra card. I actually want to write abracadabra on it. As I speak, so I create. <laughs> As I think in silence, so I create. Getting past the conditioning. Getting past the exhaustion of being. Allowing the experiencing and the flowering. So these are very, I feel like this is such an esoteric reading. Like it's, it's very, it's very esoteric. It's very like, whoa. Um, but Let's let the roomy card like finish this off because this is so perfect. So I'm not reading the whole thing, but I pulled the impossible made possible card nine. Um, what stronghold can resist love? And now I'm skipping. So you are now guided by this loving power to drop the doubt. Shed the incredulous incredulity incredulity that's hard to say and open up the mind allow your imagination to be inspired as though you were a child in a great garden hearing the breath of the earth in the wind whipped trees and the voices of the ancestors in the bird song the universe wants something to happen for you something beautiful something utterly improbable something perfect for your path your own unique divine destiny your mind will wonder if it is even possible people around you may wonder the same thing but your heart will burn for it to become real to become more than fantastic a fantastic improbable dream sorry more than a fantastic and probable dream. You will want it with all your soul. You may not even be consciously aware as yet what this great desire is, but your heart knows. It holds the secret knowledge and will unveil it when your mind can handle it. When your heart is much more powerful than your mind, you won't unintentionally block the incredible grace of manifestation seeking to pour into your thirsty soul like the sweetest, purest waters of blessings. This is what Mercury in Pisces will help us with. Aligning with the divine dream. That's in our soul. And bubbling up. And we will understand it on the next layer. With this Mercury in Pisces transit. So, I'm going to leave it there for today. Um, oh my god, I have to say this. We're entering eclipse season. So here I am offering eclipse reason, readings. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm like, this is so early in the year, but our first eclipse is a month from this full moon. So we are in eclipse prep mode, so to speak, already at this time. So there's that. Um, you can book a reading with me. If you would like an eclipse reading, I will probably start doing them or maybe this next week, maybe the week after next, but incoming eclipses in Aries and Libra, um, or any other general reading, whatever. So you can book a reading 
and the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power, and remember who you are. Namaste.